Hey, what's happening, guys? We are back with the Oon 30 XDS 3064E oscilloscope, and we're going to do our teardown today. But first, I want to thank everybody for all the messages of support they gave me uh, over my uncle's death. It was uh, very surprising, very traumatic for my family. So, thank you all so much. Now, we're going to start out today with something I forgot to do in the first part of the video, which was take a look at the FFT, because it's actually pretty good on this scope. So here's our function generator. We've got a one megahertz square wave at one volt. Which I just shut off, so we're going to have to redo it. And you can watch me do it, why not? There's one megahertz, one volt, square wave. So there we go. So to get to the FFT, we just touch math, and our FFT is right there. Now we can bring up our FFT window and make some adjustments here. We'll come down here. And we'll bring this over to 1 megahertz. That way we have our primary frequency right on the nut. Right there. I'm just going to adjust our frequency per division to give us a little bit of separation so that we can see that a little better there. I'm going to bring up our cursor menu and we have our A and B cursors and we can switch between which window we want the cursors in, the main window or the extension window. And then I'll adjust uh, our A cursor. Very nice. And adjust our B cursor to our first harmonic, which in this case will be an even harmonic and you can see it's quite small so there we have our first frequency is at 1 megahertz and then our first harmonic is at 2 we can bring it over here this will be the third harmonic which is at 3 megahertz so you can see it's working out quite nicely now we can also change what we want to measure in this case, we'll do a little bit of a horizontal measurement. We'll get back here and adjust the right. So there we are for the primary. Then we'll get our harmonic down here. And you can see the measurements come up there quite nicely. Now we can also change between uh, DBM to VRMS and we can get readings on that just as well. So the FFT in this is quite nice. All right, let's go on with the teardown. I think I have all the screws out. There's one here one here, a couple hidden under the feet, and a couple up there. Oh, get out of there, ant. So, now we can see what's up. Oh, I just lost screws. Okay. So here we have our power coming in, fused of course, and you see we have a ground properly crimped and bolted to the circuit board. Then we have a little power supply module up here, and it comes in and feeds the main circuit board here. And this is the main circuit board. Um, there's a display board underneath there, but all of your processing is done here. There's an ASIC under here, probably an FPGA. 
we have a uh, flash memory chip here and this guy is a, uh, it's a Texas Instruments AM3532 that's a Satara processor interesting we have a little header over here doesn't seem to be connected to anything and then we have a header here named named <laughs> um, labeled UA7 UART7 maybe I'm not quite sure a couple little flex connectors here and there then we have our front end under this can here here's our external out another memory chip this is very clean nicely built you can even see we've got some relatively thick plastic in there for shielding the high voltage from the low voltage DC stuff very nicely done all right it's back together uh, a couple other points I, I missed talking about earlier and like I said at the beginning I like this oscilloscope it is a nice oscilloscope it's got you know a couple weird things like the color rings missing um, it's not particularly stable in that uh, yaw axis there it just it's because it's so thin and the last thing is you have to hold this power button for about three seconds before it powers up and now we'll go through the power up sequence which also takes a considerable bit of time that being said there's nothing wrong here there we are right back to where we started off everything's looking good one other thing I didn't cover was the other math functions we have you have math functions using all four channels addition subtraction multiplication and division you can do one by two two by one you know switch them up whatever way you want so there are a lot of math functions available there and if we go to our utility menu you can see we do have an update so this is firmware updatable pretty cool there's the information about this particular scope I don't know if you find that useful or not, but I just thought I would share it with you. All in all, i got to give this scope a thumbs up. And if you guys like this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to all of you, my friends. That's it. I'm out. Peace.